Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. My watch always gains 10 minutes a day. That's funny. My watch always loses 10 minutes a day. No kidding. I am serious. Every morning I set my watch by the radio, but it still loses 10 minutes. You know what you can do. Throw it away and buy a new one. No, you don't have to. You only need to put your watch back 10 minutes every day. So you put your watch back 10 minutes every day? Yes, that's what I am doing. Why bother? Just buy a new watch. It doesn't cost much. Besides, I just can't put up with this thing anymore. Shall we start decorating the bedroom? I've already started. When? This afternoon. That looks like a bad accident. Yeah, should we get out and help? No, there's a police car behind us. He'll stop. Looks like the one guy lost control in all this rain, and the other one hit him. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That car looks like a Coke can. These accidents always cause traffic jams on rainy days. Yeah, it looks like we're in for a long drive. Ah, well, put on the news. I got up late and missed it. All right. Jenny, can you come and help me? Mom, what should I do? It's dusty everywhere in the house. Can you help me do the house cleaning? Okay, I will call Peter to clean it together. That's my good girl. The clothes need washing. I'll do the laundry. Hello, my name's David Wong. I've ordered a sofa from you last Wednesday. I wonder when it will be delivered today. Let me check what's your voucher number. It's 45,132. Wait a minute, please, Mr. Wong. I'm terribly sorry. Our delivery truck had an accident today. I'm afraid your sofa won't be delivered until tomorrow. Well, this apartment is really a must-see. Will you come with me to look at it this weekend? Sure. And if you rent it, maybe I can help you find a roommate too. Great. Do you know someone else who is also looking for an apartment? Yes, my friend Steve. I'll introduce you. How often does the bus run? Every five minutes. Oh, here comes a bus. It comes on the dot. What did you say? I said it's a lovely day. Why don't we go for a walk? Well, I feel a little tired. Come on. A little labor, much health. Then can you wait a few minutes? I want to finish writing this letter. Don't take too long. It would be a shame not to take advantage of such lovely weather. I won't be long. No more than ten minutes. Why don't you go ahead and I'll meet you in the park? Believe I will. Look for me near the lake. I'm so hungry. Shall we go eat now, Rick? Sure. Where do you want to go? Are you in the mood for anything in particular? How about some dumplings? I just can't get enough of them. Dumplings again? Oh, Amy, let's try something new.
Well, what do you have in mind? How about the Mongolian hot pot? Oh, it's too spicy for me. Don't you remember last time when I tasted the lamb? It was so spicy my eyes teared up. Maybe we can try Yuanyang pot this time. You can choose the non-spicy soup base. Sounds great. Do they serve noodles? I am in the mood for some tasty noodles as well. Yes. The sliced noodles they offer are among the most authentic Shanti cuisines. Great. Let's go. Wait a minute. Let me throw on a sweater. Next, please. I want to send this letter to the U.S. by airmail. That'll be 5 yuan 40, please. Excuse me, could you lend me some of your records? Until when? Until Monday or Tuesday next week. No problem. Yes. Of my mother standing in the kitchen and me doing my homework before school. How sweet if you make me some more toast. I'll let you use my new retro toaster. Okay. I'll show you how my mom did it. Isn't the shape cool? Yeah. And it's bigger than ours was. Hey. What's that smell? Are you burning the toast? Oh, the clothes here are so expensive. No wonder there are few people. Beauty costs, dear. What do you think of this dress? Do you think it suits me? Yeah, it's lovely. But to be frank, it's not the most practical. You don't have many formal events in your calendar, do you? Come on, you sound like my mom. Look at that, it's beautiful. When you buy clothes, you must think about the material, quality and price. Maybe you have a point. Make sure you buy what you need and your clothes can be worn for various occasions. All right. How about this black shirt? It can be worn for anything. A party, a job interview and even a funeral. That's true. But you already have two back coats and one black sweater. Oh, hey, look, that's the same shirt Brittany wore in her concert. Exactly. Oh, my God. I love Brittany. I'm going to get it. Why not try it on? It's just the right size. A perfect fit. I'll take it. Oh, no, I'm a little short. Did you bring your credit card? Yes. I promise I'll pay you back as soon as we get home. Can I give you a lift home, Mrs. Word? That is very kind of you, Mr. Lee. Thank you. Could you hold my umbrella when I get my keys out, please? Of course. It's a terrible night, isn't it? Dreadful. There. The door is open now. Thank you. Taxi. Get on, PLS. Where do you want to go? Thank you. PLS hurry. I am late. Can I get to the battery park before 4? All right, miss. I think we will get there if there are no delays on the way. How exactly do you figure out the car fare? According to the kilometer rate, the first five kilometers are four dollars and every kilometer extra costs fifty cents. Oh, I see. Here we are, miss. Thank you. How much do I owe you? You owe me nineteen dollars. That's twenty dollars. Keep the change. Thank you.
Can I help you? I'd like to buy a skirt. What style would you prefer? I like one with flowers on its brim. Do you like this one? It seems too short. What about this one? It looks nice. How much is it? 70 yuan. Is there any cheaper one? This one is only 50 yuan. I think I'd better take that one you showed me just now. It is better than this one although this one is cheaper. All right. Here is the money. Thank you. Anything else? No, thanks. May I help you, sir? Yes, I'd like to get some gas. Regular or unleaded? Unleaded. My car is new. How many gallons do you want? Fill it up. I will have a tour tomorrow. All right. Shall I check the oil? Yes, please. You're a quart low. Give me a quart of light oil. Yes, sir. Drop me at the Manhattan Post Office. Well, that's an hour's ride. Why not just post your mail here? Oh, I'm visiting a friend there. I see. Why is the car before us stopping? What's going on? Look, two cars are standing right in the middle of the road and the drivers are shouting rude words to each other. That's why that car stops. More and more people easily get irritated while driving. Yes, this is what is called road rage. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.